Today I'm with uh, Kyle and Daniel. Kyle, how old are you? 35. 11. And um, I saw you guys walking down the street carrying a bunch of scrap. Yes. Is that what you do every day uh, to go get some money or what? I uh, actually do. I do it for, um, yeah, pretty much every day, every other day to support them guys. Because I have six, six at home, so. You have a total of six children? Yes. What are their ages? From 11 all the way down to nine months. Daniel, you're the oldest? Yes. And you're out here helping your dad? Yes. He does this every weekend with me. <clears throat> So you're carrying a lot of stuff right now. How much, how, what was the weight of that? 211 pounds. And how long did it take you to get all that stuff? Two days. Two days? Two days. Do you go in like alleys and yeah. cans, uh, trash cans and yeah. stuff? And be surprised. in those two days, 200 pounds, what was the grand total you got paid? $10 and 44 cents. So those $10, it's you're going to, they're going to get food. For six people, six yep. six children, yep. and are you, is you and your wife? Yeah. So a total of eight people, Correct. ten dollars. Yep. It's hard to do, but we manage it. Okay. Very hard to do. What What do you think you're gonna eat tonight? Uh, I don't Ramen. know. Ma ma no, macaroni no. and cheese and hot dogs and maybe some chili dogs. Okay. Something decent. Hopefully. Out of your six kids, how many go to school? Four. So it kind of helps a little bit that they go to school, oh, they yeah. get breakfast, they get lunch. Yep. And, and I come home and they have dinner. I, I'll have it by the time they get home from school. I'll be already back and resting and have it on the table. And uh, sometimes Daniel comes out with you, your oldest, yep. to help you with the scrap? Yep. Yeah. He's been kicking, kicking butt lately. You like helping your dad, Daniel? Yes. Um, you know, I, I think that's pretty admirable. You know, I think that's, uh, that's, you're out here hustling, trying to make money an honest living, uh, just honest money, right. not a lot of money, but it's, it's what you need to do for your, uh, family to survive. Right. Yep. Um, and, uh, what are your, what are your plan, long-term plans going forward? Uh, just going to be a scrapper or? No, no, no. I'm, this is just a short time thing. Both wife and me got laid off for, uh, from work, so we're just trying to do until we get back to work. And what type of work do I you normally? I was a landscaper, and she was a uh, home health care nurse. Okay, you'll get back into landscaping. Yeah, because this is tough. You're out here in the sun. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Yep. You're carrying around a lot of weight. It's 18 degrees outside right now. Yep, I believe it. And um, and uh, you asked me like what I do, right? I, mm -hmm. And I showed you, I, I told you, I interview folks that are out here, a lot of young people out here doing blues. You guys know what blues are, right? Yes, I uh, Daniel said, I walk, I walk, I'm walking and I can kind of smell that stuff, right, Daniel? Yes. How often does that happen, Daniel? Um, each time we go under a bridge, under the freeway. And you, you smell it? What does it smell like? Burnt popcorn or burnt matches. Pretty nasty, huh? Yeah, it's very dangerous. Try not to, you know, when you're going and, you know, when you know you, you might smell it, just kind of, kind of try not to smell it, right? Super dangerous. But uh, um, do you ever see young people, Daniel, out there? Yes, and they have, sometimes they have dogs trapped in a kennel. That is so hot out here. They're in a kennel. That's sad, right? Uh, what's, what uh, grade are you in, Daniel? Sixth grade, but I'm doing seventh grade work. Yeah. Pretty smart, huh? Smarter than me. What are you going to do uh, when you grow up? Probably um, an artist and um, a mechanic. Wow. But I'm, I'm, I'm into art and math and science. That's awesome. Um... And you're gonna try to help your uh, your family. Yes. You're you're helping them right now, right? Yeah, it he's feels doing, good he's to help. Doing a good job too. Is he? Oh yeah. Proud of him? Oh yes, very, very proud of him. Sounds like a good kid if he's uh yeah. he's doing uh you know uh seventh grade homework. seventh grade work. Right. He's advanced. 
Advanced. He's out here uh, while other kids are playing video games. He's out here hustling, and helping his dad bring the food to the table. Yes. That's uh, that's that. I think that's sweet. I think that's awesome. I think that's uh, you're you're helping uh, shape a young man right here, right? Yes. And um, how can uh, how can people help you? Uh, do you ever do? Do you ever like stand on corners and ask for uh, handouts or anything? No, you always try to hustle, try to get your own, try to make money. What if um, there, there there might be some kind people out there that want to help out? Daniel want to help you with your other kids, you know, just help you with the meal. Um, do you happen to have like a cash app? Yes, I do. What is that? It is going to be Destiny Harley. Um, oh, I'm sorry. My my uh, cash money six brats of mine. Okay. So what I'll do is, uh, can you say that one more? Can you spell that out? Yeah, it's money symbol six B R A T S O F M I N E. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll uh, put that in the in the video description. Yep. So that people can kind of see it okay. and, and try to help you out with whatever Anything they can. Anything helps right now, honestly. Yeah. How long have you been laid off? Uh, going on four months. Okay. What's the longest you've ever been laid off? Three days. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. The, no, but... When I got laid off from Brightview, and then I, I went back, and then they laid me off three days later because they didn't need nobody to work for them. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it's just getting a rough out there, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Especially to a family. It's a big family. Yeah, it's hot right now. It's hot right now. And again, I can't believe you guys are pushing 200 pounds. Yeah. I've done seven. 700? Yes. Two weeks ago. 700 pounds. How much did you get for that? $20. So it's by weight or how yeah. does it work? By weight. And then depends on what kind of copy you have, what kind of aluminum you have. What kind of person is doing it? That matters the most. Really? Yeah. Some are more generous than others? Yeah. You just have to accept what they give you or what? Yeah. No choice? Um, for, uh, for other, for other families that are out there struggling, uh, Kyle, what, what, what advice do you give them? What, you know, there, uh, there's a lot of families the, that are the parked right now. The economics are really screwy right now. So you just gotta look at, watch that go back up. And once that hits the market going up, go uh, try, try, hopefully go fly again. But the, the economics are so screwy. It's hard everywhere for everybody. It's uh, inflation, it's right? Me, huh? Inflation. Yes. Milk is expensive. Eggs are expensive. Egg, eggs are ten dollars oh, yeah. the most. Milk is seven dollars the most by the gallon. Yeah. Gas is expensive. I get gallons every two days. Yeah, with all, the, all them kids, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, the current president calls it a build back better. What do you think about that? Build back better for America. No. That is so stupid. There's nothing better about. About your guys' situation right now? There is. I could be at my. I could, I could be at home just resting in the AC, but instead I'm out here busting my butt, making money for my kids, and my family. Uh, again. And I'm really hot. So. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I think that's admirable. I give you a lot of credit. Uh, you're you're sticking by your family. Um, you know, I asked you if you use any substances. You said no. Nope. You're clean. Absolutely. You're just hustling for your kids, hustling, right? Yes, sir. That's what you gotta do, right? As a father, right? Yep. I stepped up. I, I haven't let them down yet. Oh, no, I'm not gonna start. I How go out, my back's killing me. I can't move. I go. I still go out and look for stuff. He tells me not to. I still do it. How do you feel about that, Daniel? Having your dad be a hustler and uh, looking out for you guys, trying to support you guys. It's good, but he, his back has been killing him lately, and sometimes I tell him not to go out there. But when he goes to sleep, but I go out. And I come back with like 20 bucks, 30 bucks sometimes. I'll be good. It'd be a good day if I got 30. But again, you're out there doing what you need to do as a father yeah. to uh, raise your children, right? Yes. Yes. So again, I admire that because there's a lot of guys would have left already, right? So uh, you're sticking by and you're walking down the street far. Mile and a half. Mile and a half. Hunter, and it's like as hot as heck. 
and 200 pounds pulling 200 pounds you had daniel to help you your back is hurting yeah. you only got ten dollars but um you know you got a big heart you got a big heart man so i admire that i think a lot of people are going to admire that they're going to want to help you okay so um daniel thank you very much for talking to me i appreciate you daniel uh, sharing your story with us a little bit we get to know you keep doing good in school okay i think that's awesome you're gonna you know i'm, I'm sure you're a good scrapper right now but there's you have a better future right okay yeah. use your brain right so uh keep keep working hard in school and uh, so you can help your family right and uh kyle thanks for talking to me i appreciate you and uh Let's see, uh, let's see how we can help you, okay? All right. So uh, we'll go grab some water and uh, stay safe. We'll talk soon, okay? All right. Bye.